Hello. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use the Projects feature in Terraform Cloud to organize your workspaces. Projects allow you to group together related workspaces and assign access to teams instead of having to do that on a workspace by workspace basis. Uh, so here in my Terraform Cloud organization, we can see that the Workspaces page uh, is now titled Projects and Workspaces. And all of my existing workspaces have been added to this default project. Uh, that's because every workspace must be assigned to one project. Uh, so we've gone ahead and created this default project for you. I can go ahead and expand this view here to see a list of all my projects. And initially, I just have the one default project. Uh, because I'm logged in as an organization owner, I can also see all workspaces across all of my projects in a single view. Uh, so from here, I'll go ahead and create a new project by clicking on the New menu. And we have this new option here, along with New Workspace, we can create a new project. All I need to do is give it a name, and we'll go ahead and create a project for all of our database workspaces. Uh, note this can also be done uh, through the API, uh, as well as the TFE provider, so you can automate all of your workspace management. Now we can see the database project we just created, but it's looking a little empty. I could go ahead and create a new workspace directly in the project from here, uh, but instead I'll go ahead and move some existing workspaces. It's so back on the all workspaces list. You can either go into the workspace settings and change the project from there, or use this quick access menu here to go ahead and change the project that each of these workspaces is part of. So we'll go ahead and move these two database workspaces into the new database project. And if we look again at the database project, we can now see those two workspaces have been moved into here. Now the next step is to assign permissions to this project. So to do that, I'll use this edit icon next to the project name in the list. Here I can rename the project if I need to, manage team access, uh, as well as delete the project. Uh, but you'll notice because we have Workspaces in the project, uh, I'm actually blocked from deleting the project, so you, know, you can't accidentally do that. Um, we'll go ahead and add our DB admins team to the project. And here we can give them read access or admin access to all of the workspaces inside this project. The admin permissions also allow members to create new workspaces uh, but only within this project. So that allows team members to self-service their infrastructure uh, with more granularity than giving them that ability across the entire organization. So we'll go ahead and assign admin permissions so our DBA team can manage their own workspaces here. Now I'll go ahead and log out of my owner account and I'll log back in as a member of that DB admins team. Now that I'm logged in as a member of the DB admins team, all I can see is the database project and the workspaces that are assigned to it. And since I was granted admin access to the project, I can also go ahead and create a new workspace here. Projects also work with the no code provisioning feature so that no code consumers no longer require that org wide workspace management permission. So I'm still logged in here as a DBA, a member of that database admins team. And I'll go ahead to the private registry and find this Postgres module that our platform team has published as a no-code module. Once I fill in the required parameters for the module, I can give this new workspace a name. And I can now select that database project where this workspace will be created and continue on with the no code provisioning workflow. So to wrap up, we learned how projects can help organize and manage workspaces in Terraform Cloud and how to assign permissions so our teams can manage the infrastructure they're responsible for. For more information about projects and workspaces, check out the Terraform Cloud documentation and tutorials at developer.hashicorp.com 
and head on over to cloud.hashicorp.com to get started today. Thanks for watching.